Hello everyone, Ian Foxley here. Welcome to day number five of my comparison between the Genesis mining uh, contract that I have and some Gore Miners hashlets. Over the last few days we've been comparing the payouts from both of these providers and so far every day Genesis Mining have had better payouts. So let's see if that trend is going to continue and, and if Genesis Mining is going to basically carry on leading the way so to speak. So before I uh, have a look at the transactions for today I thought I'd just mention that yesterday Genesis Mining added a new coin that you can mine on their user interface. The coin is a script coin it's called via coin or via coin. Um, I made a short video about it yesterday and I'm going to post the link here right now so you can decide to do whatever you can watch it now or I'll also post the link in the comments so you can always go and watch it when you feel free it's only a short video it doesn't explain too much it just kind of explains you know where it is on the interface and also just some websites that you can go to to find out more about the coin so anyway let's go and have a look at the transactions for today now so let's have a look at the payments we've had so let's see the payouts um, first one is for the script uh, one mega hash and that payout was 48,226 and then the next payout we've got here is for the 10 giga hash contract and that is 18,023 satoshi so the script contract uh, script payout was better than yesterday 45,222 it was yesterday and the the 10 giga hash is slightly lower today it was 18,167 yesterday so it's slightly lower but but you know not too bad as always I'll just bring up my uh, wallet so you can see that the money did actually go into my Bitcoin wallet and the amounts do match up so here's the 18,023 over here and then here's the 48,226 over there right then so Genesis mining is, is done and out of the way let's have a look at the uh, payouts from, from my hashlets today Right then, so now we're in the Zen Cloud. The first thing I'm going to do is just check the rates at the moment. Uh, let's see. So Multipool's doing all right. Uh, 2018 uh, Satoshi per giga hash and the script there. Waffle Pool is still second from bottom uh, with the usual Zen Pool and LTC pool at the top. Just going to check my miner to make sure I'm mining on the right pool then. So it's multi mining on multi pool, that's good. So I'm, multi I'm mining on the most, I've chosen the most profitable pool at the moment, so that's good. I need to try and get these payments, uh, payouts for the Hashlet Genesis uh, on track, really. So let's have a look at the uh, payments for today. Right, so the first payment at the top is for the uh, Hashlet Waffle, and that was 42,521. The next one, the Hashlet Zen, which was 62,589 Satoshi, and the last payout was for the Hashlet Genesis, and that was for 20,843, and that was mining on the multiple, or taking the payments from the multiple, the data. So let's have a look at the service charges for today then. A lot a lot higher today, that was because the uh, Bitcoin has uh, dropped in price against the dollar. So the maintenance fees will be slightly higher now. So it's 20,000 Satoshi uh, for the uh, Hashlet Zen, 20,000 Satoshi for the uh, Hashlet Waffle and the Hashlet Genesis had 5,000 Satoshi. So now let's bring up my notepad uh, text file with all the different prices on it and we can compare all, the, all of the, all of the uh, payouts together. So first of all, let's compare the uh, 10 giga hash contracts. Uh, so let's see, so 18,023 18, Satoshi for the Genesis mining uh, 10 giga hash contract and the Genesis hashlet uh, 15,843. So once again, Genesis Mining had a better payout with that with that contract. 
Um, one thing I've noticed over the Genesis Hashlet is the daily payouts have been rising slowly. Uh, so we'll see how far this goes before you know they get to a point where they start to fall again. Whereas the Genesis mining uh, payouts have been hanging around between 17 and 18 thousand satoshis, so they're quite consistent payouts there. So let's compare the Genesis mining um, one mega hash contract with the Genesis hash uh, with the Waffle hashlet and the Zen hashlet. So the Waffle hashlet. Um, Again, not so good payment there, 22,521 uh, against 48,226, so mm, not so good. Basically, the waffle hash lit, basically, the payout was more than half, or, you know, less, you know, so, so half would have been 44, so, yeah, not so good. Uh, the Zen hash lit, um 42,589, so, yeah, the not as good as the last couple of days payout so it's been dropping a little bit again uh, whereas the Genesis mining one has been quite consistent once again and it's been sort of 45 one day 48 the next day so so yeah so it looks like <clears throat> with both the 10 giga hash um, contract and the 1 mega hash contract with Genesis mining we've had better payouts once again than, than all of the uh, the hashlets that I've been comparing those to so Genesis Hashlet, Waffle Hashlet, Zen Hashlet have all had lower payouts again. So basically this is like the fifth day where the payouts have been better with Genesis Mining. Um, so this is the all three Hashlets the total. So what I do is you, um, this is where you basically get all of these here and you add them all up together. Um, so that comes to, according to what I've worked out, for 357,995 Satoshi and if you look at this here then that matches correctly as well so that's how much is in the uh, Zen Cloud account I did have actually saying that I did have a message today from someone that said to me that you know one thing I have to bear in mind also is if you withdraw any money from here so say for example that I want to withdraw this money now to my wallet not that I would want to because I need to keep it on here for this for this purpose of the comparison and how long it was to make RRI but, but if, for example if I wanted to remove this I'd have to pay a, uh, a transaction fee which was um, I think they said it was 0 0.002 Bitcoin which is about at the moment you know it could be anything around 8 or 9 US cents but of course if you've got a large amount then you just still pay that same fee but if you're basically just getting a daily pay, pay if you're just getting a daily payment just for example I was withdrawing this these amounts every day I'd have to pay another you know eight or nine cents on top of my payments every day just to transfer it to my Bitcoin wallet whereas once you know like what I said was that the money already goes directly to my Bitcoin wallet with uh, Genesis mining so there's no service charge for that either so you have to bear that in mind. Of course, if you if you get if you've got lots of bitcoins, you know if you're getting many many dollars of bitcoin a day, then obviously eight cents isn't really a big deal. But if you're kind of like me on just one a couple of small contracts and you're kind of relying on a daily, you want to basically transfer this every day to your wallet, then obviously that can take out a little chunk of it as well. You know, so you have to bear that in mind. It'd probably be better to try and maybe do it once a week or something or once every two weeks but yeah it was an interesting uh, fact that I didn't really think about to be honest because I've normally kept all my money on here uh, because I need to basically see you know to obviously just to make sure that everything is calculating properly so anyway yeah so hopefully there'll be another video tomorrow I'll probably do another couple of these daily videos until we get to a week and then I'll probably switch to a weekly video I think Otherwise, it'll just be uh, literally, you know, hundreds of videos <laughs> because I think it's going to take quite a while for all of these contracts to reach RRI, but we'll see. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, um, to comment and to dislike. And also, most importantly, please subscribe. Then you get to know when I'm bringing out new videos. So again, thanks a lot, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.